All right, so we were having a problem with these moths everywhere. Um, so we got I got these little traps from Amazon. So there's this bonus pack, Max Guard Pantry Moth Traps, Extra Strength, Pheromone Attractant. So they're very easy to set up. They're pretty small. Here you can see inside the pack. Um, let me actually open this up. So this there's a stack of seven in there. So there's two stacks of seven. They're very thin like this. All right, I'm probably gonna show how to set up one of these. Um, I got some of the stuff stuck to my thumb, so it's crazy. There were like no moths out. I put these two, I opened these two traps, and now there's like moths flying everywhere. They're coming out from wherever they were hiding, and they're all crawling all over. Um, so far, I'm not seeing them get stuck on there, so I might just use the racket and zap them or something. Um, that way the traps don't get covered in a million moths and then I can just keep reusing them, but we'll see. Alright, so yeah, um, let me actually show you how to set one up. I'll be back. Alright, so it comes like this. Let me see if I can zoom out and show this better. Okay, okay so it comes like this. There's some little um, pre-cut parts so you can actually tear this open. It's a little bit difficult to tear open because when you tear it, then you got to kind of like pull it up and then it breaks like that. So. Um, you can't just tear straight down otherwise. Oh, well, there we go. This one's kind of working better, but there you go You see it gets stuck. So you kind of have to use just rip it open like this if you can All right, so it comes like this It's just this folded up sheet of paper thing um, I'm gonna punch out this little piece of paper thing here. Okay So again, there were no moths flying around they were all hiding somewhere and then once I took these traps out a million moths started flying out from out of nowhere so anyways it comes like this they actually give you instructions here they even give you um, some QR code I'm guessing this um, tells you where to place it and stuff but anyways um, you just peel this off it's pretty tough to peel it off it, like some parts peel off easily and then other parts are kind of like stuck really tough so what you want to do is grab a hold of this and then you want to pull it straight like the same uh, parallel to this. You don't want to try, like try and pull it up. You want to pull it straight um, away from it just like this. So here you can see it's leaving some residue stuck to itself. And here we go. Now we got a moth flying around trying to get to it. Um, the stuff stuck to my thumb so I have to wash that off. But anyways, you just fold it up like a triangle like this. Insert this part. Um, you want to put one side first, and then after that you can get the other side. And then you just set this wherever moths are coming out. And that's pretty much it. And then the moths all get attracted to it. And yeah. So, you can see, there's some moths all going in there. There's a whole bunch already. So yeah, they work well. Hopefully this video helped you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Okay, so I don't think I really went over what's on the box. So here you can see... Advanced pheromone glue formula, no way for chips, sticks, strips, uh, pheromones built into the glue. So you keep it in your pantry or kitchen or wherever. But here you see, okay, it tells you what types of moths it will capture and kill. Right, it doesn't work for the moths that like to go after clothes and the ones that just fly around at night into the lights. It only goes after these green type ones and this only affects the male uh, moths so it releases a female pheromone and then the male moths are attracted to it so it stops them from having more babies um, uh, the moment I put the traps out a billion moths started flying all over the place and the females I guess were the ones that were just staying around not really going into the traps they would fly around and try and attract the males but the males weren't interested because they were too busy going after the glue which has much stronger pheromone scent I guess um, and the cool thing is this thing it says that it actually lasts for about three months once you open it so you can see 100% non-toxic and odorless so you can use it in food prep areas and store food storage areas and I already showed how to use it. You just peel the thing off. All right. So each one's individually sealed in those foil pack things. And they last pretty long in those foil packs. Um, and once you open it, it says when it's full with moths or it's been three months, then you want to um, throw it out or get it, put a new one. Okay. So here you see. 
All right, so let me show you again. Um, I think on the packaging, let me pull one out. Okay, so I don't know if it depends. Uh, I guess it depends when you bought this. But I don't know how quick they restock these to reset the expiration date. Right now it's um, September, September 14th, 2021. So these things will last more than two years in storage. Um, okay, so more than two years in storage, but I guess it depends when you bought it. Because I don't know if you buy this a year later, if there's still the old stock that expires in 2024 or what. Uh, but yeah, they last over two years from when I bought it. And once you open the pack, uh, the trap, it lasts three years. So anyways, hopefully this video helps you guys. Let me actually show you the moths that this thing caught. So here you can see there's a lot in there. So they all went in there. I actually opened three, but they were mostly going to these two. So I um, just put the other one in like a giant Ziploc gallon ziploc bag hoping it will preserve it a little bit better but there you go so this one i guess got less and this one got all of them mainly because it's next to all this the grain stuff so i put this and then the female ones i guess are more attracted to that and the males are attracted to this so here you can see they're still alive so i don't know how long they'll be alive for but yeah all right Hopefully this video helped you. It's pretty crazy. Once I unpacked these again, the moths, at first there were no moths flying around. The moment I unpacked it, they started flying all over the place and um, looking for this. But anyways, yep, hopefully it helps you guys get rid of your moth problem. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.